Now, for many brides, walking down the aisle is the moment. All eyes are on them. But for TikToker Lucy Edwards, she surprised her guests by blindfolding them so they could experience the moment just like she would without their sight. We got to speak to the newlywed, so still terribly excited and in love, which is good, isn't, isn't it? it Jeff? Yeah, the shine's still there. <laughs> uh, and also meet Lucy's guide dog. God, it's just so magical looking Beautiful. at those pictures. Delighted that Lucy and Ollie, husband and wife, are here this Hello. morning. Okay. I bet that still seems quite strange. Yeah, yeah. well, I've oh, yeah. all been together I, ten years. I now. accidentally, like, every time I introduce Lucy, I go, oh, my fiance. Oh, no, wife. wife. My wife. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Lovely. So lovely. And Miss Molly, uh, singularly unimpressed by the whole thing, is just sleeping on the floor. Yeah, oh my gosh. she's seen <laughs> it all before. Very deep. So, d talk us through your story, because you two met, as you say, you mentioned, ten years ago. Yes. Um, and at that point, you did have your sight, I didn't did, you? I did, I did. We were at an amateur dramatics club, weren't we all? We were. And I was Wendy and Peter Pan and you were the pirate that tries to kill me. Yes, I was, <laughs> uh, I was the one that doesn't make it to the film. So romantic, <laughs> <laughs> so romantic. But yeah, no, I, I remember seeing Ollie, his little mole on the right side of his face. Yeah, and true. I think, I don't know, the more you try and picture an image, I think, the visual imagery has slightly dwindled over the years, but like, I'm so glad that I got to see him. Yes. Yeah. So you have memories of what he was like back then because yeah. your eyesight has deteriorated yeah. Yeah. Uh, since then. We met in 2015 because you were making your name as a TikToker and, and putting these amazing makeup tutorials, which was a, an incredible thing to be doing mm. as somebody who is blind and actually teaching people how mm. to do makeup so brilliantly. And here we come till 2023 now. You've just had the most extraordinary wedding, Lucy. Yeah. Watching it and seeing what you did has inspired, I'm sure, lots of people to think, actually, I want a soundscape. Yeah. I want people to leave oral messages, audio mm. messages of, of what's going on rather than just written messages. Mm. Yeah. What was your thinking? Did the two of you sit down and go, right, how do we make this the most sensory appropriate experience for everybody? Yeah, we did, didn't we all? Yeah, absolutely. Like, our sort of thing was that we wanted it to be, well, kind of our wedding in mm. that we wanted Lucy to be equal. We yeah. didn't want to feel like you were missing out. Yeah. We wanted you to experience all the senses that we could. We felt it was so important. And I think because I live in a non-sighted world and Ollie kind of lives it with me and has for 10 years, we were just like, well, why not? You know, I don't mm. want to stare back at... No, well, I can't stare back at my lovely friends and family and I didn't want me to be sad about that. I wanted mm. to live the life that mm. I can live in the way that I can. Because you wanted to have part of part of the wedding ceremony is the declaration of love, isn't mm -hmm. it, yeah. to those friends and family. And I guess you needed to feel that presence. And yeah. that's something that you can help others understand yeah. and did so with the blindfolds. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So we did we did so many different things as the as the video showed. Yeah. Um, but I think also our celebrant India was amazing at helping us just trying to tailor the bespoke ceremony. Also, Ollie did surprise <laughs> me with the choir from Love Actually. Yeah, we were, oh, we were that together. brilliant Actually. moment in Love Actually, got you got it. Yeah. yeah. Ah. I was bawling my eyes out. It was in was it India's like you're in India's idea. Like, we were plotting together. We were plotting for ages. It's so Hard to keep secrets. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. But I think the blindfold moment as well, all their blindfolds were just teary. I think people were like, why is she doing this? Like, what? You know, it's such a moment to look at the bride, but to have a non traditional moment, I think yeah. sitting with your emotions sure. makes you so choked. Wow. Up. Ollie, what was that like? I can remember looking back at the aisle, mm. at my wife, she mm. came down and I burst into tears and I could barely speak. So to be to have that sense that you live with taken away, how did that feel for you? Mm. It was, well, definitely with the choked up, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, when they first handed the mic back to me, I was like... <laughs> I just completely flopped it. But you were audio describing it, me, weren't you? Yeah, I was audio describing you. It was kind of the moment where I kind of got to experience why you picked the dress that you picked. So everyone ah. else took their blindfolds off, I kept mine on, and I felt Lucy's dress audio describing it the whole way and feeling exactly why this dress was special to you. Oh, yeah. that's fascinating because you and people will have seen you in various adverts uh, talking about the importance of sense texture, and feel. texture and softness, and you got to see that why it's important. What reaction did you get from your guests? Oh, my gosh. They like, were so shocked, weren't they? My nan came up to me and she was like, in 70 years, I've never been to such a great wedding. No. Oh. Oh. Everyone was just like, I will remember this for the rest of my life. You guys give me goosebumps. Wow. But I think, you know, 
they weren't expecting to be so choked up, I don't think. It was India as well. She just makes every ceremony she ever does just amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was just beautiful. Uh, what, what's, what's so incredible, uh, Lucy, is the way that you have grown and developed and, you've, and you and Ollie have now become husband and wife. I wonder how your relationship with your mm. blindness has changed since we first met, because mm. that was in 2015. Yeah. It was eight years later. How you feel about it and, and what it means to you? Yeah, oh, my gosh, it means so much to me. I think... When we first met, I was, uh, I was confident, but I wasn't. I, the sense of self has definitely grown over the years. Mm, I, I love being blind. I always say, you know, I lost my eyesight, but not my vision to, to make a difference in this world. And I just, I, I, I do love having a disability. It's made who I am just so much more richer, and it's given me a purpose in this world. And I don't know, it's made mine and Ollie's relationship so. We grew up together so quickly, but, you know, I think it's just made us so much closer, hasn't it? I, I definitely agree. Yeah. I mean, that's extraordinary, isn't it? Because we hear so much about the impediment of disability, and, of course, it must have been, and you've had a long yeah. process of embracing what it's given you as well as what it's taken away. Um, what would you advise others with whatever disability, but I guess particularly the one that you've experienced? Yeah, I would say, you know, if my why is to get up every morning and say to the little Lucys out there that they're not alone. I didn't have any role models growing up. Um, and I want to be role models for young people with disabilities. Um, I want to say to them that being different is amazing, you know? I thought that I had to hide my long white cane and hide my guide dog and, you know, not embrace my difference. But I think in today's world, it's, it's so beautiful to just mm. be yourself. And uh, it's hard when you're at school and, yeah. you know, mm. want, wanting to be like everybody else. But trust me, it gets better. It gets oh, better. Lucy, <laughs> Ollie and Ollie, thank well. you for coming in. Lucy, I mean, where can people find your TikTok? Because it is just brilliant. I know that lots of people will want to know more about your life. Yeah. So me and Ollie, we run our TikTok at Lucy Edwards yep. and, and at Insta. Lucy Edwards official on Instagram. Yeah. At Lucy Edwards on YouTube. There you go. Yep, you if can you play, Google yeah. Lucy Edwards, you would find this incredible couple. Thank you for coming and sharing this <laughs> amazing moment. You. And congratulations! And congratulations! Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Dog's still not remotely bothered by them. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> so he loves them. It's just us. He's not bothered by. <laughs>